Can you repeat that? I entered into a contract. You entered into a contract. Do yeah. you mean a physical? With a person, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I knew it wasn't right. Uh, and fun. I did it anyway, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay. And then finally I realized, like, I don't want to be in this anymore. This isn't right. And Excellent. I, yeah. And I got out of the contract, and I had to pay a hefty sum to get out of the contract. Excellent. Yeah. Well, that's the but price I, you paid for not price, following your right. business in the first place. <laughs> right. So and six, now you will all the more in well, the future. Wait. <laughs> so six oh, okay, months later, here we are again. Here we are again. So Which clearly, I haven't learned the lesson. So another person, another contract. Great. And you're tempted? Awesome. And no, I'm also, I've gotten myself out of the contract. Okay. And now I'm like, I'm not departing with this money. Like this person's not getting my money. Huh. And I'm taking like really shady, you know, actions that are not <laughs> kosher. <laughs> so this person is not going to get my money. Uh -huh. <laughs> like I know that there's a part of me that there's a, there's almost like a lack, like a scarcity part of me that's like, um, afraid to part with it, even though there's a lot of beautiful financial things coming my way this month that haven't been contractually signed, but I know that it's coming because I've been in this effing gap for a while and I've learned all that I need to learn and it's time to receive. Like mm. I get that. Mm. Um, but yet it's still, you know, and so I guess this part of this piece of acceleration, I think I've made a decision that she's not getting my effing money, but at the same time, I think there's still a piece of me that's enrolled. Like, is this really right? Do I need to just freely part with it mm. and trust? Mm. Mm. So, yeah. Can you explain a little bit the nature of your feeling of not wanting to give her that money? Does that feel like somehow it's more aligned to keep it and it actually makes sense? Yeah. I mean, I think in this particular situation, um, the way that she, this person behaved and was quite different from the first situation. So mm -hmm. yeah, there, I think there is some element of fairness. Awesome. Yeah. Good. So have you communicated that with her? No. Oh. She, yeah, I haven't. You should try that. Novel idea. It's a novel idea. No, you should try yeah. it. It solves 90% of the miscommunications, obviously. Yeah. It's really good. It's really powerful. If you come from your trust, from your love, mm -hmm. and you just center with yourself, know yeah. that you are the one infinite creator. You created all of creation. So, right. big deal. And you connect with that. And you see that she, too, is a portion of that. And she's oblivious to that, which, again, makes it even funner mm -hmm. and more enjoyable and more mysterious and more like bittersweet and more loving <laughs> and more compassionate and so you come from that place of clarity and still it feels to you not that you're just like being shady about it what you're being shady about seems to be the non-communication mm -hmm. yeah. but that's why you feel you need to be shady about it or work your way around it but maybe the core of it as i sense it and as you express it mm -hmm. is it's not black and white like okay i signed that contract now i have to send it to her and the bad thing to do would to not send it to her it feels right to you to not send it to her right, right? It yeah. feels aligned on some level, yes. and it goes against the pragmatic black and white of the verbal, physical, linear, agreed upon world that yeah. we all know as human beings. Right. But you come from a different place, a different space that yeah. is more balanced, that perceives more entrance points, perceives more data points. And so you feel from that space, it may actually, there is some kind of fairness and alignment to me not handing her that money. Mm -hmm. And this challenges you because it is a contradiction to how we're supposed to act according to the contract. But still, you also feel that the contract with yourself is telling you there is another way. Something about this doesn't feel right. For me to just pay it up would be actually to avoid mm -hmm. my contract with myself, right? But to withhold it without communicating also feels like it's shady. <laughs> so take that resonance and bring it into the clearest possible communication you can come up with. Mm -hmm. To honestly and compassionately and lovingly as much as you can. Yeah. And stating the points of clarity, of fact, why you feel that way and then send it to her or communicate that to her. Yeah. Will you try that? I will. Thank Excellent. you. Can I just yeah. ask one more question like yes. real quick? Yes. Um, so in, this, in all this talk about money, like you mentioned it last week and you never actually followed through with it. Like mm. someone actually today, as we talk about decisiveness, invested with me and then pulled out, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know? And so- Wait, can you repeat that? So invested a, a sum of money with me and then decided not to. Someone did that? Yeah. Like you did that with the woman, sort of? Yeah. Oh, cool. Awesome, right? <laughs> I know. Yeah, here we Yeah, everyone's a reflection, right? <laughs> yeah. That's beautiful. So it's a theme right now at the moment. Clearly. And what would you want to ask about that? About the other way around? Well, last week you said, you know, when we're, I know when I'm, I'm in alignment with my purpose and doing what I'm doing every day. Yes. You mentioned it last week. It's like when these things happen, mm -hmm. I tend to go like, F the universe. Like, I want my old life back. Like, I just... 
Go, ahead. go off the rails. Like a lot of anger and shit comes up. Do you want your own bit. life back? I don't. But it comes into that. Mm -hmm. I go into that place. What does it represent? Your own life? My old life. Oh, did you say your old, old life? Old. Oh, like, interesting. You want your old life back because it's easier? I would, it was easier. Nice. Because it wasn't, it was, it wasn't miserable. expanding you. Correct. It wasn't that you're cutting edge. Correct. It was Correct. well within your comfort zone. Right. And there is no sense in living your life well within your comfort zone. <laughs> There isn't. I know there that. Isn't. I know that here. Mm -hmm. not, but when things happen like that, in personal it's development, hard. they have this thing they call the comfort zone, surrounded by the stretching zone, yeah. surrounded by the panic zone. Have you heard that? <laughs> no. They say you should avoid the first and the third. <laughs> I like well, not that. avoid, but you know, <laughs> you should be at the edge of your comfort zone, if not well in your stretching zone of yeah. comfort. Because it expands when you're in the stretching zone, it literally stretches your comfort zone. Right. And that's another, it's a more like, personal development way of saying expand yourself recognize that you're fearless recognize your indestructibility by acting upon the things that scare you a little bit okay. try to avoid in general reaching the panic zone honor your belief systems as well yeah. but not to the extent where you're limited by them right. honor them identify them see that it doesn't make sense for you to jump off the cliff but to maybe just stand on the edge to peek over and to deal with what happens when you do that maybe even like put one leg out just ah oh, that feels so uncomfortable but i'm not yet panicked i can learn in this space because when you reach the panic zone you will learn in retrospect perhaps but it, you know as no. usually too traumatic in a moment yeah. so just be in that constant state of stretching zone because it literally stretches your comfort zone yeah. which is can also be symbolized with the awareness of who you really are mm. and the embodiment of who you really are so that more of yourself which now lies in your panic zone soon becomes your comfort zone does that make sense yeah so just basically relax whatever it, it non-ideal situations occur mm -hmm. just look at it and yes. say, why is this here? And as to your point, this is part of my theme right now. Excellent. Yes. Yeah. What must I believe is true in order to feel this way about this circumstance? Yeah. What is that belief? Does yeah. that belief still make sense to me in my conscious reflection upon the universe? Mm -hmm. Being the infinite creator itself? Does it make sense to hold on to that belief? Does it still serve me the way that it served me when I was more unconscious of myself? Because then it was a substitute servant. I couldn't take conscious vibrational care of myself. So I created the ego effect substitute servant mind to take care of me instead. But now that I'm expanding my consciousness, I'm becoming aware of areas that I've hidden from myself. And now that I've become aware of these areas, that belief must not have its place anymore as it used to. Mm -hmm. So noticing the belief, identifying it as clearly as we can, Ask yourself, is it still serving me? Is it still empowering me? Or is it holding me back from my empowerment? If it holds you back, then if you see that it holds you back, and if you see that 100% of it no longer serves you, you let it go right there. You don't even have to let it go. You only hold on to the things you believe benefit you in some way. So if you still hold on to contradicting beliefs that muddy up your life, it is because you believe there's something in those beliefs that still serves you. Investigate. What is that? And it's usually because it wants to prevent you from some kind of fearful event. Like I said last week, spend a week in a ditch and see it's not that bad. Does that make sense? Yeah. Thank you. Face your fears in that way. Expand your comfort zone. So great. And your communication. Communication is yeah. so crucial in this realm of being with each other right. and being with your own expansive, ever-expanding comfort zone, shifting your frequency, shifting your desires all the time. You make a contract one year, but the next year you feel totally different or the next day you feel totally different. Right. Now, how do you deal with that without sacrificing your integrity and going into shady parts, which you don't want to do because it doesn't feel in alignment. It doesn't right. feel accelerated. So that is communication to the world that you made the agreement to, the seeming world, which is mm -hmm. simply a portion of yourself. Clear, concise, balanced, mm -hmm. spacious communication out of clarity mm -hmm. will do the trick always. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you.